Once upon a time, there was a Barry. Growing up, Barry became hugely interested in both science and superheroes. In fact, after finishing his bachelor in applied physics, he decided, why should superheroes be fantasy? Why not use technology to create actual superhuman powers or use superheroes as an inspiration for technological development? And that's where it all started. In terms of my superhero research, what I'm looking at is two things. So first of all, I'm using super superpowers and superheroes to try and promote scientific concepts and engineering concepts in the classroom. So I'm writing um, papers and doing research on science education and science communication. But I'm also really interested in responsible innovation and the idea that we are responsible with the technologies that we, we develop and that we take into account their possible effects on the environment and society in which we live. So there are plenty of examples of technologies that could or may have been inspired by the superhero films or superhero genre. So one example is actually right behind me on the table. It's an invisibility cloak. What it does is that if I put an object at a certain point, like this point here, um, and if I look through this lens towards Bruce Banner, I'll actually be able to see Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster suit, and I won't see this green block, which should block out my view of him. And the reason for that is that this invisibility cloak, it bends light in a way that creates a cloaked region. This is an exoskeleton. Now, Tony Stark, also known as Iron Man, has built a whole number of exoskeleton suits. Now, these exoskeleton suits allow him to fly, they can shoot weapons, um, they have artificial intelligence, they're also really advanced biosensors. Now, the Iron Man suit, or something like the Iron Man suit, is a long way off, but in the real world today, Exoskeleton suits are actually playing a hugely important role, particularly in the well-being and, and healthcare aspect of society. So, for example, if you're working in logistics, you might be bent over in a particular position and lifting objects all the time. So that means that you need to support your back, and that's what the exoskeleton suit actually does. This is a hugely beneficial piece of technology. This is hugely beneficial for society. And I view this as being a piece of responsible technology because it's trying to look after the well-being of a person. Many people might think that the Iron Man suit isn't a responsible innovation. And the question is then, should we actually try and, and, and replicate exactly what the Iron Man suit is? How do you promote this technology? How do you show that it can have a positive difference in society? And that's, that's the idea of responsible innovation. I certainly don't want to just create superpowers and dump them into society. Whatever happens with this technology should have a positive influence in society. It should be done in a responsible way should be done in an ethical way. So if we don't do that, then we're going to create many more problems for ourselves.